Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Razer Ergonomic Wrist Rest Pro. Okay, for the Wrist Rest Pro, this is probably going to be the most straightforward unboxing. So let's just get the plastic off. And then, slice it open here. And here, on the back of the case, you're going to see like what materials they actually use for this one. And because it's a pro, you're going to get cooling gel infused cushion for long lasting cool comfort, anti-slip rubber feet, compatible with all full size keyboards, and also the sizing. So it measures in at 444.5 millimeters in width, 90 millimeters in depth, and height of 26.4 millimeters. Let's open this up. So Razer, as usual, they put it in their black packaging and also you get some Razer stickers. But other than that, yeah, like I said, very straightforward. Just open this up. And you get the Wrist Rest Pro. So the rubber feet are on the bottom as you can see here. There are six of them. The middle one is slightly longer than the side ones. There's a slight lift to this so you can adjust it to the keyboard and obviously because this is full size it's going to be quite long and the nice thing about this is it actually feels very nice like just touching it like this the material feels a bit like a velour style but also with a slight hint of satin inside so it's actually really very smooth and feels comfortable i'll let you know like in a week or so after i've tested this out now, I've been using this for a week plus and I have to admit, it is definitely a very comfortable wrist rest. I bought this because the Logitech G915, which is currently my daily keyboard, does not have a wrist rest included and I realized I needed one because previously I was using the Razer Black Widow Elite, which came with the wrist rest and that one was already very comfortable. But when I changed to the G915, it felt just the slightest bit uncomfortable without some form of support on my wrist, especially when typing or gaming. The Razer Wrist Rest Pro is actually a tad too high for the G915 because the G915 is a low profile keyboard so it is lower but it definitely helps. If you're going to be using any other regular keyboard like a HyperX or SteelSeries 1, as long as it isn't a low profile keyboard, this will definitely fit. Also, if your keyboard has macro keys on the side, you'll notice that the Razer Wrist Rest doesn't fully span the length of that keyboard but for me that wasn't a problem at all. The pro version of this wrist rest has a cooling gel infused cushion and I concur that it is definitely an interesting cushion. It sort of feels like the cushions they put in their headsets so the wrist rest doesn't get warm even if you're in a humid environment without the AC running. Meanwhile, for the standard version which is about 24 SGD cheaper at 3290, you basically get the same sizing but the material used is different with the standard having a plush leatherette memory foam cushion so in theory it won't be as cool as the pro version. I personally don't sweat much so the standard version would probably have been okay for me but if you're in a humid environment and tend to sweat, you'd probably want to consider the pro version which is this one. Yeah, because of the cooling gel, it's really like even my hands on it now, it feels cool. Anyways, I've always found Razer wrist rest to be one of the most comfortable and that is one of the main reasons I've been using their keyboards was definitely just for the wrist rest because I find them a lot more comfortable when I'm using it and I'm really happy that they released this as a standalone product so that I can match the comfortable wrist rest that they provide to other brand keyboards that I may like more because I really do like the G915, it's legit an amazing keyboard. I'm digressing but that's been it for the review of the Razer Wrist Rest Pro. For me personally, it's a worthwhile purchase because it should last for many years. I don't expect it to deteriorate anytime soon. Standard or Pro, that's up to you but I would definitely like to see them release a TKL version that's a bit shorter or one that has a slightly lowered height for those low profile keyboards that are quick becoming the norm. Remember like and subscribe for more tech and gaming videos. Hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come up and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!